First year at SFA was in 1985. Um, I actually graduated from high school in 1982 and I started at Texas A&M and, um, and did not do so well there. It was a large school, kind of got lost in the crowd and ended up getting a free ride back home to go to junior college for a year. So um, I went back, kind of got my grades cleaned up and after I'd been down to Texas A&M, that was my decision and my dad said, well, I think I'm going to help you with your next decision. So um, I said, well, I'm going to Stephen F. Austin. And he goes, well, hang on just a minute. Now, the only way he would let me go is if I'd set up an interview with the dean of the business school. So I did. Back then, you know, kids kind of did their own thing. Parents didn't do it for them. And um, it was actually the associate dean that was over the marketing department, Dr. Bazell. He couldn't have been more gracious, couldn't have been more welcoming, and, and figured out it was a good place for me. You know, I grew up in a small town and uh, went to a smaller high school. And I think being a little more like East Texas uh, was similar to the town I grew up in, which was Texarkana. And uh, being a smaller town, li little smaller classroom sizes, a little more attention to the, from the faculty back to the student really stood out to me. Um, I was a good student in high school, but I really didn't know how to study until I actually got down here. And like a lot of, a lot of college kids, is you gotta learn how to study. And so I think being able to get a little more individual attention is what really stood out to me. You know, the first question I would ask them is what do they really want out of their, you know, their next level of education? And then I would say SFA is a great place that you can fit into. You know, the town of Nacogdoches is a great place to, to spend the next four years of your life. I think the students that come here are very welcoming to other people. And, and there's people from all over the country, people from all over the state. There's still a predominant presence of Houston and Dallas and East Texas, but you also have kids from New York, you have kids from California, you have kids from other parts of the country. And it's kind of a melting pot of different personalities, different cultures, but there is, you, you know, you don't necessarily have to be in a fraternity to fit in. You don't necessarily have to be in athletics to fit in. You can be whatever you want to be here. And I think that's what's really special about this campus. As I thought about it, it, it really stands out that, that it's just a bigger institution. It's more than just about me. It's more than just about the students that are here now. There's so many people that came here before us to help make this institution what it is. And the fact that they've continued to change and evolve with the times is really, really special. And, and then you start to dream about the art of the possible and what can it be 100 years from now. And that, that's when it really, really stands out. And how important education is to our economy, to the state of Texas, to the kids to be able to you, you know, get an education, go make something, develop a career, have a life um, going forward. I, th I think that's what really stands out to me. And I just think it's a great place and it serves a great need with middle class families in the state and, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen for the next 100 years.